Right now, my family's completely and utterly tore up. Yeah, the family's cat, Sparkles, was shot in the face and hit by something called a crossbow bolt. Kind of looks like a golf pencil. Tonight, the family wants answers about who did it. Now, the cat was shot this past weekend in Latonia. It is recovering at home after receiving treatment. Now, some of you may find the images in this story disturbing. If you have small children, they may also want to leave the room. First News reporter Abigail Cloutier spoke with the animal's owners who just want to know why this happened. Our cat is a part of our family. That cat's been here for three, four years, and that's majorly our family. Brandon Bunner and his family tell me the last thing they expected on Sunday was to find their cat sparkles in their backyard with a crossbow bolt through its face. Brandon, his wife Jolene, and their four kids rushed sparkles to the vet in Canton. I couldn't imagine getting shot in the nose and going down through the mouth. I couldn't imagine that. I guarantee you that's painful. The vet extracted this six inch bolt, which Latonia police say is used with a handheld crossbow. Bunner tells me the experience was traumatizing for their kids, but especially their teen daughter who has a close bond with sparkles. Crying and worrying about that cat. They couldn't sleep. They had to be down with the cat at all times. Those Sparkles is now home from the vet on medication and antibiotics. It's a 50-50 chance on my cat surviving just because the blood vessels in their nose and the way it was in the palate. The Bunners are working with Latonia Police and the Columbia County Humane Society and tell me they hope animal cruelty charges can be filed. Well, I want to find out who did it and I want them to get justice. Anyone with any information should contact Latonia Police. In Latonia, Abigail Cloutier, WKBN 27 First News. And the family said someone donated $100 to help them with their vet bills this afternoon. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.